seen such a formidable tacit discord before, but Rover was able to completely defeat it. I didn't really do much. It was all thanks to you, Rover. That's strange. This place isn't known to be so dangerous. Anyway, come check this out! <laughs> frequencies, and every sound generates a reverberation. Those echoes are the lingering reverberations of tacit discords after they disintegrate. We can absorb them into the data banks in our Pangu terminals. Oh, by Pangu terminal, she means the gourd-shaped device every resonator has, developed by researchers in Guanglong. But you see, it's not always we get to find these. Also, there's a limit to what your gourd can absorb. Absorption is only possible when your data bank's level is equal to or higher than the tacit discord's level. The terminal can then convert its reverberation into an echo for use in battle. My terminal issued a warning when it detected that tacit discord earlier. It should at least be an Overlord class. Rover, would you mind checking your data bank level? No need for that. Rover! Why don't you just try absorbing it with your terminal? Oh, so it doesn't work. It won't take long before the reverberations disappear and the etheric sea vanishes. Once that happens, the resonance beacon signals will come back. The tacit field will dissipate, biding time for its next resurgence. <sighs> we'll need to report the unusual phenomena here to the City Hall and the Academy. Let's make our exit. ability quite like this. You got any other tricks up your sleeve? Like eating a whole tacit discord? Grilling echoes alive? Could it be related to your lost memories? Can you recall anything now? Rover, are you feeling all right? Any discomfort? Could it be the side effect of fighting that tacit discord? Baiji, can we take Rover to do a checkup at Huashu Academy's Resonance Medical Department? Hmm. Baiji? Absorbing echoes with the human body is not entirely unprecedented. With the human body? I remember Comprehensive Mirror for Historians mentioned this in the Huanglong section's opening. A celestial being descended, commanding the Tiankun's boundless power. Assuming mortal form, they condensed the primordial essence, creating Pangu. Cleaving heaven and earth apart, they aligned the celestial and terrestrial. Their radiance encompassed the four corners, Thus began the illustrious annals of Huanglong, as provinces were first demarcated. 
there was a very strong person way back, like they held the whole universe right in their hands. As there was no terminal in those days, they absorbed the tacit discords with their bare hands. And the TD they absorbed was the most powerful of all. That person turned it into the first Echo ever. Then they used the power of that Echo to rebuild the world, sort out the laws, and that's how the history of Huang Long began. Yang Yang, stop reciting that, I'm begging you. Oh my, it's taking me back to my school days when I had to recite pages and pages of them. Anyway, that's just a made up legend, isn't it? Whether it's true or not, that story happened a long time ago when Jinjo didn't even exist. Could it be that Rover's like the great, 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 great granddaddy of us all? Let's not jump to conclusions without enough data and proper analysis. Rover. message to all of Genjo from the City Hall. My fellow soldiers and citizens, I apologize for any inconvenience caused. I am Jin Shi, the Magistrate of Jinjo. As the Moon Chasing Festival approaches, our city welcomes visitors from around the world. The festivities are highly anticipated by our people. And I, too, share in this joyful sentiment. Jingzhou has always been a crucial defense against the tacit discord outbreaks, safeguarding Huang Long. We have a heavy responsibility on our shoulders with no room for retreat or failure. It is the dedication of our warriors, along with the diligence of our citizens, that has allowed us to thrive in peace and prosperity. Despite the challenges of tacit discords, we remain steadfast and hospitable to visitors, upholding our enduring traditions. With that in mind, I have a favor to ask. Among our many visitors, there is one visitor that holds utmost importance to me, the city of Jinzhou, and the entirety of Huang Long. We have awaited your arrival for a long time. Given the circumstances, you may be feeling bewildered at this time. You should have noticed some strange happenings related to you. If you plan to stay in Jinjo for some time, I would be more than delighted to personally meet you in the City Hall of Jinjo. While I cannot guarantee to provide all the answers you need, I will do my best to assist you and provide necessary permissions, if applicable. This is only my personal request. You can decide your course of action in any way you see fit. Therefore, I request the people and soldiers of Jinjo to assist this esteemed visitor when the opportunity arises.